I'm going to tune, assemble and tune a tube goose call. So we got the call, the diaphragm, rubber band. I'm going to take the diaphragm and set it across the mouthpiece. I usually hold it like this. Cover about two-thirds to three-quarters of the hole opening because everything's going to move around when you put the rubber band on. And I use three fingers and a thumb to get the rubber band. So this part is going to go around here just like this. Almost impossible to give you a good bird's eye view of that. But at any rate, <clears throat> so that makes a mess. And now I just pull these, pull all this extra diaphragm out of here. Try to get a little bit of tension on the reed, and as you can see, there's none. So I'm going to take, keep pulling these pleats out. There we go, and you can see, you'll watch, and it'll start to, this will start to straighten out. It's straightened out right there. I'm not going to like the way this sounds. I like the opening to be larger or long. At least that much for myself. And, and I need a little bit of Tension around the edge there. Okay. So we've got... It's real low in pitch and it doesn't have a lot of volume. So it's loose still up here. And it's not real tight there. So keep pulling on these until you get some tension on them. And look, you'll find out what the parameters are. Because... Now that's better. So, take a listen. So we got about three quarters of the hole closed. That's your drum head tension. A little higher there than it is there. And sometimes this is higher and this is a little bit lower and it still sounds good. So. You mess around with it, try to get it, once you find a sound you like, try to get it so that your rubber band sits behind this ridge, so that things can't slip. So when I did that, I moved the diaphragm back, so I'm going to, you just reach in there and pull it back out, just like I'm doing here. That's on the low side, but it's elastic. It's going to kind of go back to shape and it'll start to come up in pitch right away. So anyway, that's kind of the quick and dirty of putting the diaphragm on the call. So I'm going to take it off and put it back on again. I'm not going to say anything. So, have fun, experiment with it. Let me know if you need help with anything. 
if you need additional diaphragms. The diaphragms I have and I cut are yellow lightest, orange a little heavier than that, then comes green, which I call a medium, dark blue and purple are both medium heavies but have different sound. You gotta experiment and see if it's your own taste. <clears throat> heavy is light blue and extra heavy are black. And everybody ends up finding their own favorite here. So have fun with it. How to order them. Um, you can order them through me at sean at seanman.com. Just send me an email. Let me know what you need. Um, I have a sampler pack where you can get one of each of the seven to give them a try. And calls. Uh, $20 for the, for the seven diaphragms and a couple of rubber bands to, uh, to let you experiment. Um, and the calls, if you, if you want to order a call, I make them in Delrin. $100, Maple, $150, Bubinga, $175, and to order one, send me an email, sean at seanman.com. Uh, I don't have them on the website, haven't had time to put them up there. Uh, probably four to six weeks to get one, but all you have to do is let me know you want one. You don't have to send me any money. I'll let you know when they're ready, and you let me, uh, you can pay me then, and uh, send me your address and so forth. So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this is helpful to you. It's kind of a cluster um, because they're such a different animal to so many of us. But they're a lot of fun to use, and I hope they bring you lots of fun and lots of results. Thanks a lot.